Hello my fashion friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Ose Prather here, your style professor, teaching you how to dress your life successful. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to sneak casual pieces into your work wear wardrobe. I know sometimes getting dressed from work can feel very stuffy, and so I have a few ideas on how to sneak in some casual elements. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the main idea of sneaking casual elements into your work wear wardrobe is to pick that one casual piece, but then everything around it should be extremely professional, super buttoned up, so that you can get away with incorporating that casual piece. Because if you were to have that casual piece and then other elements in the outfit are also casual, it really, you can't really get away with it as much as you could. So for example, this outfit that I'm wearing right here, the casual element is this white crew neck. Um, this is just a cotton jersey crew neck. It's very casual, but I've gone ahead and paired it with everything else that is super professional. So the blazer is super professional, my black slacks, super professional, shoes, professional. So everything else should be very professional so that you can get away with it. This same outfit can be done instead of pairing it with some black slacks. You can do the same thing and pair it with uh, a black pencil skirt. I think that would still be, you would still be able to get away with it if you did that. If you were to do this white crew neck shirt here and then you paired it with, let's say, um, some light blue slacks or you paired it with um, maybe some jeans even, it wouldn't be, you wouldn't really be able to get away with it because those pieces still kind of lean towards the casual end of the spectrum. Now, if your office environment is a little bit more laid back, then obviously you can get away with it. But this is for people whose offices are, you know, very buttoned up, very professional, but you want to be slick and sneak in those casual elements. So here's just one way to do it. Let's get on to the next outfit. Okay, so here is the very next outfit. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this outfit looks exactly the same as the first outfit. And technically, yes, it is the same with the same colors, the same silhouette. Everything is the same, but I wanted to bring home my point that only one item should be casual and the rest of the pieces should be super professional so that you can get away with it. So on the first outfit, I was wearing black slacks, but for this outfit, I'm wearing black jeans. These jeans are so dark, they're so black that from a distance you couldn't even tell that they were jeans they look like slacks they look professional especially because everything else in the outfit is super buttoned up super professional so the black jeans just look like slacks that i paired with this blazer it just looks like i'm wearing a black suit and so that's what I mean by one thing can be casual but everything else in the outfit should be super professional so that you can kind of sneak that piece in all right so here is the next outfit with the same principles being used I have one casual piece in this outfit while the rest of the outfit is super professional so just like the first two outfits I'm using the same basic concept these white pants are actually white jeans, but the material that they're made out of can kind of swing either way. And so these have no rips on them, no distressing on them. They're just plain white jeans that you can dress up to make it look very professional. Everything else is also very professional. The white button down is the same button down from the previous outfit and I just have it paired with another blazer here. This is a uh, kind of a navy blue blazer here, very professional. And so it just kind of dresses up the jeans without making it look like you're wearing something very casual in the outfit. And then of course, pair it with some nice pointed toe pumps or just some nice shoes that you could wear to work. 
So this video is not necessarily like giving you outfits. I just want to show you guys how to really incorporate um, the casual pieces. One outfit that I've worn, I'm not going to show in this video because I've worn in another video a while ago. I was wearing a green pencil skirt with a Mickey Mouse um, <laughs> printed tee and then a blazer. So the Mickey Mouse printed tee was of course a casual element. But then everything else in the outfit was very dressed up, very professional, so I was able to get away with it. So that's kind of like the same concept that I'm showing in these outfits as well. Okay, so here is the next outfit. Now this outfit is a little bit different in the sense of I'm not necessarily incorporating a casual element, but I am incorporating a piece that is not necessarily suitable for the workplace, and that would be this black bodycon midi dress this dress is more appropriate for like date night or going to the club perhaps or something more of like a sexy environment but i wanted to tone it down and bring it into the workplace and so how did i do that obviously you guys can see i paired it with this um mock neck long sleeve green blouse shirt um, just to kind of add a little bit more coverage, add a little bit more sophistication, and make it more work appropriate. So I think this is a great way to do that if you guys have dresses that might be a little bit too sexy for the office and you're considering wearing it to the office instead of just throwing a cardigan over it or a blazer over it or a duster over it or whatever over it try layering something underneath it just to add a little bit more professionalism a little bit more sophistication and so that's what i did with this dress here and i think it still looks super cute it's great for the office it looks professional it's toned down it's more sophisticated and um, i think it works just fine it's a great length for the office um, as you can obviously see if i didn't have this green shirt underneath you can see how plunging the neckline is, how low it is. The straps are very thin, so you can see that it's not really professional. But once I pair it with this uh, green shirt underneath it, that's when it brings the professionalism out of the dress. So I think it's a great way to um, have a dress that's kind of for a date night. It'd be a little bit more versatile in that regard. Shoes are still the same, just some um, pointed toe palm script for the office. But the focal points of this outfit would be uh, the dress, just to bring it in to the workplace and not so much sexy date night. So I think it looks really great like this. Any shirt underneath could uh, would look good. You could do a button down blouse underneath. You can do any color because black is a neutral color so anything would go with black. But um, I wanted to switch it up a little bit and just infuse some color into this um, lookbook video and I just added a green top in here but you can do any color because black is a basic so yeah so this is a, just a great way to uh, make your date night dress be a little bit more versatile and bring it into the workplace all right you guys well that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed and got some great outfit ideas and you kind of figured out how to sneak in some casual pieces into your workwear wardrobe so i hope you guys enjoyed if you found that you did enjoy this video i would love if you would hit that red subscribe button for me come on and join my fashion family i would love to have you i do a lot of fashion and styling videos on this channel very similar to this one so go ahead and hit that red subscribe button also don't forget to click that notification bell so that you are notified every single time i upload a brand new video thank you guys so much for watching and until next time please come back in a timely fashion